Statistics. Finding the constant involved in working out the frequency density. You will find this on page 679 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Finding the constant involved in working out the frequency density. Let's look at this example. 200 people record the number of hours they worked in a week. There is the recording. When she draws a histogram, the height of the column for the interval 30 to 40 is 9. Calculate the height of each of the other three columns. Now, if I look at this example, let me remember, it's this one they refer to. Now, if I go back to the previous videos, I will see that to work out the frequency density, I just take the frequency and I divide it by the class width. So, take the frequency and what is this class width? Can I just write it down for you there? This class width is just going to be 10. What is this one? 30, 50 minus 40, 10, 80 minus 50, 30. So, if I'm going to say, I take the frequency and I divide it by the class width, I'm just going to get 3. But they said that vertical height must be 9. Now, it's almost like you did it in primary school. It's like 3 multiply what will give me 9. So, I have to find that constant. Now, from primary school, 9 divide by 3 and that constant will also be 3. So, that means I will still take my frequency and divide it by the class width, but I must every time remember to multiply it by 3. Okay, so let's do it with the others. So, if I'm going to take this one, I'm going to still take the frequency, 82. I'm still going to divide it by the class width, that's 30. And I'm going to, after that, I'm just multiplying by 3. And that will give me the height, the vertical height of the frequency density of this histogram. Okay, so the same I do with this one. 38 divide by 10 it's going to be the answer, multiply 3, and it's 11.4. And then this one, 50, divide by 30, okay, and then multiply 3. So this was the constant every time. And it's not always the same, it stays the same in this calculation. But as soon as I do another example, it's going to differ. Okay, stop the video and do try now. 29. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's just move it up a little bit. Okay, let's start. The table shows the information about the times, T minutes, taken by 80 of the girls to complete their mathematics examination. There's the data. On a histogram, the height of the column for the interval 60 to 80 is 2.8. Okay, let's just mark it. So 60, so they are referring to this one. Okay. But now they say that vertical height is 2.8. Now remember, just like we said in the previous one, if I want to get the frequency density, It's going to be always the frequency divided by the class width. Which is going to be, now let's check here, what is that class width? Can you all see? 80 minus 60, that's 20. I'm just completing the rest. 60 minus 40, 20. 120 minus 80, 40. And 150, it's 30. Okay, so if I'm going to take the frequency of that one, what is the frequency? 14. And I divide it by the class width, 20. I'm going to get 0 0.7. But can you see, they said 2.8. 
So again, like primary school, I, I must say 0 0.7 multiply what will give me 2.8, that constant. Now, how did you do it in primary school? I could have even put an X. I just think that it's very fixed in your memory, making a block. So basically, um, I'm going to say to find that block or find the value of X, I'm going to say basically 2.8 divide by 0 0.7 and that's going to be 4. So that means that constant is going to be 4. That value of x, that block is going to be 4. So every time I do it exactly like the previous examples but I must remember to multiply with 4. So if I look at the next one, now they say Calculate the height of the other three columns. Now, what will it be? So, let's start here. In the group 40, okay, in that group, again, take my frequency. What is my frequency? 5. Divide it by my class width, 20. And as soon as I say, but remember to multiply it by four and if I do that I'm going to get exactly one and then in my next one what is my next group this group so it's 80 so again what remember there's my formula frequency so 29 class width 40 and don't forget to multiply by four in this example you always multiply by 4. And as soon as you do that, you get going to get 2.9. And then the next one, 120. And you're going to do the same. Take the frequency, divide it by the class width, multiply by 4. And the answer, your final answer is 4.3. So that means if you're going to draw an, your bars, in this case, the height of this group is going to be up to 1. The vertical height of this group is going to be 2.9. And the height of the last bar is going to be 4.3. But take note, do not draw the histogram in this example. You have the information to draw it, but it was not asked in the question.